top of turn four. Three? Is this only three? Wow. I feel like my husband three. Top of turn three. I think I got in by a few points. Because this is a victory point deal. We'll start here. Friendly glass gun. Check. Phone number 13. 9. 4 for Blanton. Damn! Fucking figures. Melta. Yes. Four teams. Fuck. Cancel more tape. My dad stays on the casino. Mike just had the same luck with his rockets as I always get with mine. Six, six for glancing. Nope. So we got those two guys there. Yeah, we got this gun guard. Oh yeah. One bolt pistol, one bolt gun. No minus for BS. Right. Hit. Hit. Nice. Go back on scatter die. Just make you roll your own damn die next time. <laughs> <laughs> um, that killed everybody right here. Yep. Ten. Board's looking a little thin now. But I think me and Mike have actually both beat the fucking living shit out of each other. Take my last turn and call it, Lou. Paul's. Might say he's going to take his last turn, the end of the fourth. I'm pretty sure I ain't even close to. It's, it's close, but I think I've got you. Damn scatter die. Okay. Yeah. Hit. Like I said, get your own damn scatter die. Um. Drag grenade launcher is a four and six. Strength of four, meaning you need fours. And I get my saves. Three points, and then I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know who won. Handyman won a score of six to one. I beat Mike six to one.
Good battle, though. What do you think about playing Space Marines? How do you like them? Alright. You like your Necrons better, though? As long as an army, as long as you're having fun. <laughs> well, did you have fun? Alright. I thought it was a pretty good battle. I thought it was a pretty good battle. First time I've got to play against Space Marines and able to come out full force, because, you know, when I played Damien, I didn't. I didn't play full force on him. Well, guys, leaving Cannibal Corpses, Mike, Cannibal Corpse Mike, on the way back home to the east side. Uh, real good battle, in my opinion. Uh, Mike might not think so, seeing how he lost, but it's always fun to play. Mike likes to play just like I do, win or lose. Um, like you saw, he played Space Marines this time, so we had a uh, Space Marine versus Space Marine battle. I thought it turned out pretty good, really. He got some uh, practice play playing Space Marine, and I got to play someone that doesn't come back to life every time you shoot him and kill him, which was a pleasant change. I hate playing fucking Necrons, because they never die. Can't keep a good Necron dead. <laughs> But, yeah, but he played Space Marines this time, so it was a nice change for me and for him both. But uh, we had wrap-up and pack-up and everything. We forgot to uh, talk about what we were going to play next weekend and how many points. So we'll have to go over it from there. And if everything goes good with my other gaming group, I might be having to go Warhammer every other weekend because they're wanting to start a new... Uh, D, D campaign and wanted to do it on Saturdays since I run Rifts on Sundays and we do Necromunda on every other Sunday at Bootleg. So I'll have to work out and see how that goes. My gaming plate is filling up quick again. Well guys, instead of gaming today, <laughs> we are moving Bootleg Dale's old lady. And he just looks so happy. I'm not close enough, guys. You could have seen that expression. You'd have... Your imagination. This could be a game. Yeah. It is a game. <laughs> right. I think I lost, Dale. I lost. Damn it. My my character's dead. I'm going home. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, how about you, Alan? What do you think? Think your character got killed? He's been dead for a while. He got he got killed on the freeway, huh? Yep. <laughs> Driving. Oh, I was going to say something too. I was going to say it not because of handyman's driving, but Bootleg Dale had to open his mouth. Yeah, this is the new place, guys. Pretty nice little place. Uh -huh. little, it's a little, little four bedroom house. It's nice. Oh, okay. You ready? Yeah, it looks like we're ready for a round two, round two. trip two. Yep. All right. Is there anything on your truck? Yep. Yeah, oh, wow. Back out to the west side for round two of the storage unit. Yep. Let's load it. Well, we got everything except for one more load. Yep. Should it's showing them my dirty house. You no, I'm showing them you. Dirty. Well, this is a move-in. I don't care. Here are the dogs. 33 and Chica. Yeah, if we'd have taken that last batano with us, we could have had everything. It's not even a full load left. Well, I got my man packed. Um. Well, that's the end of the move, guys, on the way home from moving Dale. Getting Dale, well, actually, it's his old lady, but what's well, a whole lot of stuff, really. I was figuring a lot more the way Dale was talking. We got it in two trips, and they've got to go back and pick up a couple little boxes. But other than that, the move went real. I'm also speaking about Dale while I'm driving home and trying to do this. I'm sure this is pretty shaky footage. Um, the Save Bootleg campaign seems to be going pretty good. I wanted to thank Dermacon for taking the bull by the horns and doing what I couldn't and actually making a page for a boot, a Save the Bootleg uh, campaign and stuff with uh, like a chart that shows how good it's going, how much money. Uh, thank you, Dermacon. I don't have those type of resources or am that computer handy to be able to do something like that. So I appreciate you taking the initiative and uh, helping me help Dale. Well, I'm sure this is real bumpy and shaky footage, guys, so I'm going to stop it here.